Hemmetal Canada being the basically system house for anything related to robotics for Hemmetal Defense uh, Consortium. Uh, could you give us an update on the mission, Master? Yes, uh, I think the last time that uh, you saw the system, it was uh, at Euro Satellite uh, a few years ago. Uh, so since then, we have continued to uh, increase you know, the, auto the autonomous capability of the system, develop additional mission module, like the one that you see behind us, which is the Advanced Medical Evacuation Systems, and, and also uh, work extensively on weaponized systems and surveillance systems. But one of the things that was a core to the, the uniqueness of our systems compared to the competition is the integration with battery management systems of specific clients. The systems being built on an open architecture is able to be adapted to any soldier systems or even being controlled by an iPhone or a smartwatch depending on the client's requirement. But this uh, usefulness where you can give a task to the UGV and not just radio control the UGV is really where we're focusing our efforts to increase the level of autonomy of the platform to basically go through a military, a military task on its own with limited user interface. Uh, and the future? Say again? The future? Yeah, the future is, uh, is really now the uh, collaborative work where basically you will see one operator being able, okay. one operator being able to, uh, uh, to control four to six UGVs by its himself. So instead of having one operator for uh, one every single platform, we uh, call it the wolf pack uh, concept, where one operator would be able to give a task to, to three to six UGVs per second to accomplish a mission. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.